And you said something, you used the word twice, fear. I think fear is one of the biggest uh, threats of society. Let's take the, uh, the, current, the current situation in the world, the geopolitical situation, Russia, Ukraine. All, everything that you see is fear-based and power-based, power hunger. But power hunger is also a derivative of fear. I don't need power. So if I don't need power, I'm not afraid of losing it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And I, I, do I need money? Yes, I need money. But is money my, my, my end goal? No, money is a means to do the things that I love to do. Do I work for money? No, I work to achieve something else and money comes as, the, as a consequence to enable me to do the things that I want to do, right? So I try not to be fearful. I'm not always without fear because complete, being completely without fear is, I don't think it's natural. I think we should, because we live, therefore we have an inner drive to live. Inner drive to live makes you love or makes you fear, right? And, and if people are making decisions fear-based, I think those at the end are not going to pay off so well. And by the way, look around you, this. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I look traditionally, most of leadership, whether it's political or organizational leadership, it has been fear-based, rewards and punishment-based. And what you are highlighting, right, You it brought a smile to your face, right? You don't need power, so you're not scared of losing it. It's uh, so beautiful when you can motivate people, take people along with love or with you know, caring for something much more deeper that you don't need fear and that creates a total new level of creativity and innovation.